All right, so there are currently some Metallica quests available where you can get some free rewards. So stage three of four on this one down here says hit opponents or vehicles with the Ride the Lightning item. So the first two stages are pretty easy. I think the first one was collect the Ride the Lightning item, and then the second one may have been travel distance with it. But it's stage three that's the hard one because hitting an opponent with this is almost impossible. However, it says or vehicles. So let's hop into a match and I'll show you a pretty easy method. So first of all, if we look at the map, there's quite a few spots where you can find the guitar instantly, but you can also get it in chess or floor loot. So it's pretty easy to find. For example, there's a ride the lightning item spawn right here, which is a very obscure spot just to the left of the underworld. And then there's one right here in this building on the West Coast. So there's some pretty obscure locations where you can find them. Otherwise, they're pretty much at every POI. There's at least one spawn in every one. Let me show you one more obscure location right up here at this little island with the big house on it. That's one as well. So land at any of those three or any others that you can find or just pick one up via normal loot just to get the challenge started. Obviously, you need the guitar to get this done. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna land at the one that I showed you first, right over here to the left of the underworld. I doubt anyone's gonna land here, but we'll find out. So let's go ahead and track this quest just so we can see it better. You can see it below my minimap now. So right where the scrying pool used to be, that's where the guitar spawn is gonna be. So there's the guitar, 100% spawn. We got it. So just in case you've never used this before, let me show you how it works. Basically, it's automatic but you can control which direction you go. So let me just do it here real quick. So you don't have to push any buttons, but you can change the course by moving around, obviously. So you move twice and then you go down, but it's so hard to aim when you drop down like that. So the odds of you hitting a player are probably slim to none. It's that difficult. But remember, you can also hit a vehicle. So let's try to hit this one right here. Oh wait, there's a guy right there, crap. That's got to be a bot, right? Okay, so I made a mistake there. I should have just tried to hit him instead of eliminate him because that could have been easy target practice. Regardless, let's hop in this car. We'll put it right here. Let's see how hard it is to do this. So we're going to go up. It's going to take us forward. We're going to go backwards. We can see the car right there. Let's see if we can aim it right on it. And no. See how hard that was? I was trying to aim for it, and it's just so stiff that it's near impossible. I want to try again, though. That's not my technique, but I just want to see if I can do this. Okay, here we go again. Let's try this. Take us up, so I'm going to go straight, and then I'm going to turn around, and then I'm going to aim a little bit in front this time. No, oh, wow. Okay, so no. We need to aim behind. There should be another car spawn right up here, actually. Let's see. Yes, there is. Okay, so here's two of them. Let's try this. We'll put them kind of next to each other. Normally, I like to do three or more cars, but this might work. Okay, so I'm going to mark both vehicles. Then we're going to pull out the guitar. We're going to go up. We're going to let it take us forward. Then we're going to go straight back. And then we're going to try to aim right below and see if we can hit one. We missed. So you got to be like right on them. But obviously, the more cars you can collect and put together, the easier this is going to be. Okay, let's try it again. So we're gonna mark both cars. Let's make them a little closer together. Okay, we got them both marked. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna go straight, then turn it around, and then look straight down. And boom, I think we got one. Yes, we hit one. Okay, so now you just need four more. So the goal obviously is to hit in between so you get both of them at once. And again, the more cars you can put together, the easier that's going to be. All right, let's try again. We're going to let it take us forward, back. Then we're going to look right down, right here, and boom, we got one. So again, I missed the ultimate goal, which is to hit multiple ones at once. But let's try it one more time. Take it to the skies again, forward, back, and we're going to try to aim right down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Did we get both? We did! We got both that time! Nice! So now we just need one more. So I'm just gonna mark... Well, actually, I'll put them both together again. So you can see, if you were, say, in Team Rumble, or just in a very secluded location, and you stockpiled, like, four or five cars, just aim in the middle, 
I know it's a struggle because I've messed up multiple times already, but if you can get that dead center in between both of them, then you're going to get it done in one try. So here we go. We let it take us forward. We let it go back. We look for our mark on the car. And let's aim. Oh, that's a bad one. Nope. Look at that. I got them both that time. Nice. So there you go. <gasps> you got to do it 15 more times? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. I'll be honest, I didn't know that was next. That's so dumb. So I guess just keep on doing this, but this is the easiest method. Way easier than hitting... Oh, crap, someone's coming in. Way easier than hitting actual people. So, it kind of throws you off a little bit. Because, basically, you're looking for the reticle. You can see I've got a reticle right there, the white crosshairs. But when you're in the guitar mode, it's kind of different. So let's try again real quick, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so we're going to go up. So you got those diamonds, and that's kind of what's throwing me off, because that's not where your reticle is. Oh, we might hit both here. No, I only got one. The diamonds are to the right of where your reticle would be. So it kind of makes you want to aim with those diamonds, but you can't do that. you got to aim where your reticle would be. So the diamonds are like on the right, your reticle should be in the middle. It just throws you off. That's what I'm trying to explain. But the goal is to separate all the vehicles just by a smidge and then hit right in the middle and it'll get them both. All right, here we go. We're trying to hit in between. Again, forward, back. I'm gonna try to aim right in between. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, we got them both. So imagine if I had five cars right there. That would have been five points right away. So you can see how difficult this is, but once you get used to where the crosshairs should be, you should be able to do this pretty much every single time. Okay, here we go. I've got five cars gathered together. I only need to hit four of them to complete the challenge. Here we go. We're going to go straight. We're going to go back. Now we're going to aim down right in between all of them. Oh, we only got two there. Actually, I only hit one. Okay, that was a big flop. I want to try to hit right there. It is so hard to aim this. I'm not even kidding. It is just brutal. I could do this, though. Storm's coming. Only a one tick, though. Let's try again. So we go forward. We go backwards. We're going to go straight down. What the? No! All right, I got a med kit here. I got a med kit. All right, there's a T or a cross. We're going to mark right in between. Let me pop this real quick. We got to get this. We only need to hit three out of the four. It's just way harder than it looks. Here we go. Forward. Backwards. Aiming down. Aiming down. Aiming down. Aiming down. Oh, yeah. Boom. We did it. We hit all four of them there. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Taper Time.